Hello all you fellow musicians and gamers out there, this is Kleiner Gamer here and I am back with another part of Let's Play Crash to Insanity. And I know it has been a long time since I've recorded the video, I mean it's been about a week actually since I've last recorded the video. So anyway, uh, today I'm going to be, or tonight should I say, I'm going to be covering Classroom Chaos. Yes, I'm going to be wreaking havoc or chaos within the classrooms, I mean well not specifically a classroom but within, well right now within the walls of, uh, of uh, the Academy of Evil going to destroy the walls of evil within this academy of evil yeah I know where I'm going with that yeah wait a minute it looked like I went through that that box there I'm not sure if I was a bit of a glitch I encountered there but it looked like I went through that box oh now this guy here if you listen to him when he tries to spot you yeah I know I'm doing this uh walking moonwalking thing again I'm just gonna keep my thumb out listen to him He sounds like you there. Hmm? This bandicoot, is he here? And I, the bandicoot, is he here? Hmm? Hmm? Trying to see if I can find... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to come up with some uh, Yoda lines here to make this appropriate. Like, he's trying to find Crash. He's like, Find you, I will crash. <laughs> That's what, that's probably what I can do. I mean, I know that's not a very good Yoda impression. I mean, I might, it might very well be, but I mean, sometimes I don't know what my impressions sound like whenever I actually listen back to them on commentary, but I'll do a better impression this time. Oh, okay, the door opened there. Wait, I just want to take a look at that painting there. What is that? I've no idea what that painting is. It just looked interesting when looking at it. But, yeah, the reason why I've not been active lately, as of late, guys, is because, well, I was originally going to record an update video as we get the first gem, the blue gem here. Oh, and here's uh, the next guy, right, okay. Find you, I will crash! <laughs> you will receive Jedi training from me! I, I train you to become a Jedi, I will! <laughs> but first, I must find you! Come on, be a Jedi! And Crash is like, well, I'm already a Jedi, I'm doing moonwalking skills, be that. I mean, Hallmon or Yoda lookalike or whatever you are. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I'm being a bit random here, but he just sounds like Yoda. He does. With his grunting there. Oh, duck again, just in case. There, there we go. Because if he had spawned me there, then he would have uh, thrown uh, paper airplanes at me. And I love this me. Oh look! Look at that! They got the penguin there from the the ice levels in in that in that glass cage there. Okay, let's take take out these dogs. Okay, so I'm not sure if they're even dogs, or if they're mutant like kind of dogs. Okay, so get that second gem. That's, the gems in this level are pretty easy to collect. I mean, they really are. I mean, the the pardon me. Uh, the oh crap. And the game's like, oh, you burped in the video, this is what you get. You die now for burping. Ah, uh, okay, that's a bit of a, a ridiculous consequence. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody like burps in the videos at some point inadvertently. Man, well, I just had my dinner right now and just uh, recording this. I mean, that, that's my excuse, so. And I'm like, yeah, there's no excuse. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I've been active lately is because I've uh, been focusing a lot on uh, preparing for my... Uh, a uh, teaching diploma, and uh, he's like, "Hmm, teaching diploma sounds interesting." This, he's like, mm, "Where's this teaching diploma? Uh, teaching diploma? Where you study?" I ask. Oh damn! I think he had had enough of my old impressions. <laughs> I mean, if he really was Yoda, he would have not thrown paper airplanes at me. He would have just been like, like got his lightsaber and just. Slash me, okay, do you know what? I'm not going to do the moonwalk anymore, because clearly that screwed me over, so I'm not doing that anymore. Okay, so we'll just wait here. Okay, good. So, yeah, what I've been doing, like, uh, written tasks-wise, I've been, like, uh, completing a report from based on my observations that I um, I was observing, like, uh, uh, some uh, lessons conducted by uh, uh, other teachers. I think I told you guys about that before, but one of the tasks I had to do was uh, to write a report based on the, the observations, and that's what I did recently this week. And I think it went well. I mean, I, I mean, I just need to now check all my written tasks, like double check them. Oh, this section right here. I remember when I was a kid, this section here was just a nightmare, like a asset is rising in the library. Now, 
I'm actually going to take the shortcut right here because there are there is no gem here, right on on the uh, the path here. The only gem there is a gem here, but it's right at the end of this path. But I love this music track for Classroom Chaos, because especially the uh, the 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 a cappella lines or the, like the bass a cappella lines. That's what I like most about this track. Uh, you'll hear it, well, you probably may have heard it in the video already, but if you've heard the music track, that's... You know what it sounds like. But, my advice to you is that if you like taking shortcuts, which I thoroughly recommend, uh, always take that shortcut, because you'll outrun the acids pretty easily from that. Depending on your luck as well. Because you could end up missing the jumps. Uh, due to the... Uh, sometimes the camera angles might not be in your favour sometimes. Okay, so let's jump up here. But yeah, the as far as goes for wreaking havoc in a classroom, we may have never done that myself, but uh, that baseline right there, that's what I was talking about. Alright, now, now that I've got rid of these nitros, originally there were nitros on these uh, crates here, but now that I've got rid of them, it's much easier now to access it. Oh, no you don't. Crumbling platforms. Uh, platforming cliche. There's the green gem. Ooh, that was very close. I thought I was about to fall there. But I just made it. I was about to say, no, don't fall. Do not fall into the acid. <laughs> but yeah, it has been a while since I've recorded the video, and uh, what should I talk about in regards to this game? I mean, I mean, I've heard all the rumours about, like, well, as you know what, wait, it didn't look like I collected that power crystal, but yeah, it still registered me as collecting it. Oh, no, this is a funny moment right here with this cutscene, right here in this bit. Oh, maybe not, okay. I'll take it from here. Get back to the airship. Make sure its mooring ropes are secure. Alright, now we play as Cortex. Now, for me, playing as Cortex can be a pain sometimes. Because he can be okay, but it's just sometimes he doesn't really control all that well, and like... Yeah, sure, he's got, like, you know, the gun and everything, but, like, it's... Yeah, I'm gonna get 55 ammo, that should do me just fine. And you got Uka Uka with you, I mean, I suppose that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I just want to check. Okay, I got three gems. The so three gems should... The other remaining gems should be in the uh, Cortex section of this level. It should be. And that was a great start. You see, I've not really played uh, this game in, in a quite a long time, so I may be a bit rusty, these Cortex sections. Okay, so uh, we'll just wait for that ammo box to spawn again. Come on. There we are. Right, that should do me fine. Alright, let's go. But playing as Cortex, I mean, it can be good, but I never really used the uh, charge blast that he used in the boss. I just uh, basically just spam the square button here. I just uh, basically do this just to like blast any nitros that are coming up. Okay, I've got to be very careful with my ammo here as well. Okay, got some more ammo. Good. Okay, another life here. I got... Oh, I didn't... I didn't actually realise I had that many lives. 41 lives. Okay, I'm about to run out of ammo here. <gasps> no! Good. Right, good. I, I thought I was about to hit those nitros there, but I didn't, so that's good. Now, this section here, what you basically got to, do, got to do is you got to take out these frogs without getting hit by one yourself. You've got to take out these frogs here. Now, this is where you cause havoc and chaos within a classroom. Now the music here kind of reminds me of like the uh, like when you're playing this Cortex here, it's just, it sounds a bit mysterious, like those short notes. Okay, now that I've got a lot of ammo, I think the next gem should be in this area. Yeah, there it is. It's unmissable that gem. You'll you'll get that gem even if you're not going for hundred percent. You'll automatically get this gem anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna blast this TNT here. Blast that. There we are. Nope. Okay, good. Okay, I don't have any masks, so I need to be careful here. Yeah, you can only go up to 99 ammo here, but at least I've got max ammo now, so... Max ammo! Call of Duty Zombies, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But what else to talk about, yeah? Um, that gem I talked about before, the yellow gem in the Academy of Evil, uh, you won't get that until you've completed this level and uh, the next level, a uh, rooftop rampage, and you'll see why when I show that off uh, within a future video. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump on here and just hit this. 
jump on these TNTs. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, so sometimes Cortex's jumping doesn't work properly in this, I'm not sure why. Yeah, ring the bells. <laughs> Wait, why was that bell there? I must have taken out the other janitor then, if that's the case. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of lives here. I've got 43, surprisingly. But what other reasons why have I not been active lately? Well, I've been busy with work as well. That's another reason why I haven't been active as of late. Okay, I'm just going to get this red gem here. Okay, good. Now I should have five. Yep, yeah, uh, one more gem to collect. And the yellow gem should be at the end of this level. I, I, I assume it's at the end of this level. So I do apologize, guys, for being inactive, but uh, these things happen. I mean, like like I said, I'm only doing this uh, as a hobby, like, uh, you know, my, my YouTube uh, videos. I like making videos for all you guys, and uh, I, I do thank you for all your continued support over the years. And I will try my best to stick to my schedule, but if I don't upload any videos, guys, I hope you understand. It's just uh, life gets... Uh, we're all busy with life nowadays. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody understands that. But yeah, everything should uh, go back according to plan, uh, hopefully. Now that I've got a bit more free time on my hands. Okay, so now there's the next world crate. So we're not done with this level yet. Well, that was quite a nice shot there. Was that like a double shot I got there on one of those robots? But yeah, Cor Cortex, like, this is a slide that he does. I mean, it's not that useful in my opinion. Especially if you're doing speedrunning, like, it, you can't really slide jump. I mean, that's the only slide jump you can do, but that can really slow you down, so you can only, like, run and only do the uh, rapid fire. That's the only thing I can say that's a good speedrunning tactic for uh, Cortex. Okay, and those creatures are catching up to me. Creatures of the night! No! The, these dark insect creatures of the night are catching up to me. And I quite like Cortex with that Ukuka mask look. He's like, he's got that wrathful look in his, in his eyes. <laughs> It just reminds me of Crash Bandicoot 3 when he has that. Like, you know, the, when Uka Uka kept attaching himself to his face. I'm surprised that Cortex didn't do that. What would have been a really good callback, in my opinion, to uh, Crash Bandicoot 3 was if uh, Cortex did the shaking his head after, like, uh, the invincibility that he had. That would have been a really good callback to Crash Bandicoot 3. I'm not sure if any of you guys agree with me on that, but that would have been really cool, in my opinion, to see that. But... As far as goes for Crash to Insanity or Crash Bandicoot in general, what to talk about, I mentioned in my videos before that um, Crash Bandicoot may possibly be making a comeback. Well, like I said, I mean, I said before in my videos that we'll need to wait and see what happens with regards to that. I actually want to show off what happens as well when Cortex runs out of ammo. He just runs about screaming when he doesn't have any ammo. Yeah, I'm just playing about with it when he doesn't have any ammo. Okay, so, yep, that section there with the fox is quite unpredictable at times. And Cortex certainly doesn't like it as he's screaming, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's quite unpredictable at times. And now the last gem should be, yes, yeah, so the last gem is right here. Yeah, like I mentioned before, this level is very easy to get all the gems. So we shoot that, and the yellow gem should be collected right here, and that should be all the gems. Yes, it is. Nice one, right? So that's all the gems of Classroom Chaos. And I'm just going to get this power crystal and let this cutscene roll out. Sweet Sam Lenina. And don't fear the night with its long claws that scratch and its sharp teeth that bite. Under the covers, there's no need to hide. For your uncle's a monster and he's on your side! <laughs> Nina, my adorable young niece. My, my, you're getting big and sneaky. Put her there, little lady. I see they need some adjustment. Let me take a look. Okay, young lady, let's see what you've learned. Well, we shall see about that later, Cortex. That's gonna be a cliffhanger. Dun, dun, dun! You'll find out what Nina has learned in the next episode. Anyway, uh, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna get the next world crate right here. So, uh, uh, where's the next? Uh, ah, there it is. Right, now that I've got the next wall crate, I'm just going to stop right here, and I'm just going to end the video off right here. So, thank you all very much for watching, guys. Uh, sorry if I didn't really have anything much interest in this end, this part, but it has been a while since I've recorded the videos, and just getting back into it, you know, the swing of things again, you know. But, uh, hopefully you all understand. I mean, I, I, 
as amazing you guys as you all you guys are, uh, you you understand. So uh, uh, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, basically, the reason why I've not been here is because well, just been busy working on my written tasks for my uh, teaching diploma and work as well. So that that's pretty much the main reasons why I haven't been active as of late. So. Uh, thank you guys for watching this part of Let's Play Crash to Insanity, covering Classroom Chaos, of me collecting uh, everything 100% for that. And next time I come back, I shall be playing as Nina on the Rooftop Rampage. So, until then guys, uh, this is Quina Gaming here signing off. Uh, hope you all have a great day wherever you are, and uh, please feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below for your thoughts as well on this, on this part. And also please feel free as well to subscribe for more upcoming videos on my channel as well. So until then guys, have a great day, and goodbye.